Is education in Australia free? Yes and no. If you're interested, keep watching. If you're moving to Australia and you're planning to work full time here, but at the same time you have a young family, young children, you're probably wondering what am I going to do with my kids when I'm working? And I know that many of you have been asking me to make a video about this. So let's get started. If you're a working parent of very young kids, it's likely that you'll have to send your kids to childcare or kindergarten. Childcare refers to private or community-based centers where people usually take their kids to be looked after. And this is usually for kids aged over six weeks. And these childcare centers, you're going to find them around your suburb, in your area. Something that you should know is that the cost of childcare can range from 70 Australian dollars to 185 Australian dollars per day. Now, another option to community-based or private childcare centers is to access this type of services, but in your own home. So for example, you can hire a nanny or a specific certified professional to come to your home and look after your kids. These type of services are called family daycare and in-home care. And the cost of these services can range from 15 Australian dollars per hour or 35 Australian dollars per hour. And in some instances, maybe a bit more. Now, in some cases, if you meet specific requirements, you may be able to access subsidies, that is government funding, to cover the cost of childcare services. And this type of financial support is called childcare subsidy. If your children are not that young and they are between three years old and five years old, you can send them to kindergarten or preschool programs. Kindergarten refers to a two-year preschool program for children aged between three years old and five years old. And these preschool programs are usually before the kids start primary school. Disclaimer, kindergarten and preschool programs may be called differently depending on where you live in, which Australian state you live in, right? And this is a bit tricky because in New South Wales and the ACT, for example, they call kindergarten first year of primary school. The activities that precede primary school are called preschool programs. Whereas in other states, like here in Victoria, those preschool activities before year one, it's called kindergarten. I know that this is a bit confusing, but hopefully it kind of makes sense. Now, the usual weekly hours that children spend in kindergarten or preschool programs is around 15 hours per week. And they usually go to either a morning or an afternoon session. How much do you pay for these services will vary according to the kindergarten itself because these are private institutions and they set their fees themselves. If you're not able to afford kindergarten services or preschool services, you may be able to access financial support provided by the government in the form of subsidies to be able to manage these costs. And the best way to find a kindergarten is to contact your local council or just go to their website. Now let's talk about school education, primary and secondary school here in Australia. Attending primary and secondary school here in Australia is compulsory for kids aged between six years old and 16 years old. And that means that school is compulsory between year one and year nine or 10. And let me briefly explain how it works. Primary school in Australia runs for seven to eight years and starts from year one or prep or kindergarten in some states and finishes in year six or year seven. Secondary school in Australia runs for three to four years. And depending on where you live, again, it may go from year seven to year 10 or year eight to year 10. Now, after secondary school, there's something called senior secondary school. And this runs for two years, year 11 and year 12. And of course, year 12 is the last year of secondary school. Another thing that perhaps you might want to know is that the school year in Australia usually starts in late January, early February, and it runs all year until mid-December and kids get an average of 10 to 12 weeks or even 14 weeks in some instances of school holidays per year but again these numbers will vary according to where you live okay let's talk about costs yay how much do schools cost in Australia is Australian education free the answer is yes and no 
This is why. Primary and secondary education in Australia is free if your kids go to public or state government schools because these type of institutions are publicly funded. Having said that, you do need to take into account that you may have to pay for a small annual fee, which is usually around 400 Australian dollars per year, and you'll have to pay for your kids' school uniforms, textbooks, and stationery and other activities. But having said that, overall, public schools in Australia are free. Okay, another very important thing to know about public schools in Australia is that enrollment in these schools is based on location. And this means that it's likely that your kids will have to go to the school that's located in their local area. Another type of school education here in Australia is Catholic schools. Catholic schools are run by the Roman Catholic Church and as such, the values that underpin Catholic schools are driven by Christian principles. Now, the good thing about these type of schools is that they're not as expensive as private schools. Why? Because they're partly subsidized by government. So you usually have to pay a relatively small fee. Now, independent of private school, you can expect to pay for private schooling around $20,000 per year. And again, remember that these numbers will vary depending on the state or area you live in as well. There are other types of private schools here in Australia, such as faith-based schools, selective schools, or Steiner schools, for example. So if you're interested in a particular teaching method, I highly recommend doing a bit of research on this because there's a whole range of different school systems to choose from as well. Now, if you're interested in learning a bit more about the higher education system in Australia, and this involves universities and vocational education and training, I highly recommend watching these videos here and here. Or if you're interested in learning a bit more about what is it like to work here in Australia or live here, I have a full library of videos in this YouTube channel for you and to learn everything you need to know about settling in this amazing country. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.